Okay, Scott, just put, dip it in the dish like that and pull it and see if you can make a nice big bubble. Oh, neat. Hey, there's a great one. Wow. Oh, look at that tube. Oh. That was about six feet long. Yeah, that's neat. Look at all the colors they make, too. Oh, there goes one. Yeah, there. Oh, neat. Now, you know, you can do this at home yourself. You don't need to come over to my house to do it. You can? Yeah, all you need are the ingredients. And you see there on, my, on, the, on the jar where I keep it? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll just copy these down. Is that all right? Okay, fine, yes. Six water, six parts water. That okay. means if you're using cups, you use six cups or pints, six pints, or teaspoons, six teaspoons. Okay, six Should be distilled water. water, too, so it's nice and clean. See if there's uh, minerals dissolved in the water where they could interfere with the soap film. Yeah, okay. Okay, then one part dishwashing soap. Uh, any kind of uh, modern detergents or soaps will work. Soap? Try to get those that don't have a nice smell because that means there's extra ingredients in there too. Okay. And then one part glycerin. Where can you get glycerin? Well, you can get glycerin at almost any drugstore and in some hardware stores. Okay. And you mix it all together and then let it sit at least overnight. So you're okay. sure they're all mixed together. Okay. okay. Then what I have is a piece of wire. Uh, you want to take that one out? Okay, sure. Because see, here's a, here's a tray. And I've got it so that I can put all the solution into a tray so that when you dip a, a wire hoop in like that, you can pull out a whole oh, big neat. layer of soap film. Oh. And then, if you pull it slowly through the air, that's how you blow them. So <laughs> come on, let's make a couple of more. Okay. There just goes a little one. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, neat. Oh, there goes a big one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Notice how they sort of wobble around until they finally settle down into a yeah. sphere. You know why they're round, by the way? Because uh, the air pressure inside is equal, so it makes yeah. it round. And the air pressure on the outside pushing in also. Yeah. So it, they may not be round to start with, but they soon end up to be round. Yeah. And by the way, do you know you're blowing three bubbles in one? Three, but there's yeah. only one. Well, now stop and think for a minute. When you make the soap film and you put it up like this, you really have a layer of soap film on the outside of the bubble, oh. then a layer of water, and then a layer of soap on the inside. Oh, so that makes three bubbles. Make th it's sort of three in one. Yeah. And you notice how you can see different colors as they float around? When you see a change from one color to the other, you're talking about fractions of the wavelength of light. So that's oh. how thin those little soap films are. So you have to make sure everything is very clean. Okay. That's very important. Okay, let's try and see who can make the biggest. Okay. Or the most unusual. Okay. Well, that one's pretty big. When it gets a lot of soap, uh, foamy stuff like that on the top, Doesn't that sometimes, work as well. yeah, that sometimes interferes with it. And by the way, do you know why we're doing this outside? Because it makes a mess. It on the sure floor. makes a mess, yes. And unless you're ready to clean up the kitchen floor, oh, there goes a I'd big suggest one. you do it outside. Oh, neat. One. Sorry about that. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> 